The Evil Nun, The Broken Mask is a remake of the hit mobile game, which I've never played myself, but now this has come into the PC, I'm surely going to give this one a go. In the game, you have been invited to a religious summer camp, and all of a sudden, you get knocked out by the good-looking nun, and you wake up inside an abandoned school, and by the look of it, you basically have to figure a way out alive, whilst I'm guessing re getting repeatedly battered by the nun. But overall, this game looks very impressive for a mobile remake and very scary, and the nun herself looks quite terrifying. <laughs> Evil Dead the game will be available on all platforms, and yes, this even involves a Nintendo Switch, but fuck knows why. The game will feature both co-op gameplay and a player versus player combat, which I'm sure that'll make the game more, even more interesting in itself. But I do like the idea for co-op, where you obviously work together as a team of four survivors, where you have to do some exploring, looting, and also manage your own fear, whilst trying to find key items to seal the breach between the worlds. Also to me the game looks good, but has a Friday the 13th feel to the graphics, but in my opinion that is a good thing. The Callisto Protocol is a third person survival horror game from the creators of Dead Space, which explains this game has the same Dead Space vibe to it, with a bit of Alien thrown in there. There is not that much information about this game as yet, so I'm not too sure what kind of game this will shape up to be, but the first look at it, it looks very promising and very gruesome, which we all love in the horror genre. The first thing that stands out to me with this game is that it is PS4 only, which I find very interesting, which is a big fuck you to PS5. That being said, In Nightmare is a narrative driven adventure game which combines sneak action with puzzles which means I will be shit at. You play as a young boy who escapes into a dark whimsical world created from his own memories battling terrifying monsters along the way to try and wake up from his nightmare. However, this game also has a little nightmares feel to it, so I think the game will do very well and looks great to play. Lust from Beyond is a psychological horror with an occult and erotic theme, hence the name of the game. And also you know this game is truly going to be fucked up, which for horror is a bonus. You play as Victor Holloway, who is tormented by visions of a sinister land full of pain, and you have to learn of its secrets, so you basically join the cult of ecstasy. This game looks graphically amazing, and looks like they have definitely done a great job of making the game as weird looking as can be, like putting your hand through this vagina looking thing, all in all, in all this game looks very interesting, and should live up to its name. The Medium is an Xbox exclusive and is a psychological horror played in third person. You play as a medium called Marianne and she can travel into the spirit realm. Not the one where you can get pissed on wine, but the ghostly kind. There is more puzzle solving to do as in most horror games. But the cool thing I like about this one is you inhabit both worlds in split screen form. And whatever you do in one world I believe affects things you do in the other world, which is really cool and interesting. You can use her psychic abilities against the hostile forces that you come across, and I think this game has huge potential and cannot wait for its release. On Air is a first person survival horror game, which has some sci-fi elements also thrown into it. The game takes place in the US of Louisiana in the 60s during Hurricane Camilla and you play as Ray Smith who is a bioengineer rushing to his family's distress but due to the bad weather you are forced to stay overnight in an old, old hotel. The game looks amazing and very creepy as you have to try and escape to get out alive as all the hotel's inhabitants basically want to kill you. And you also have to deal with creatures hiding in the shadows, which is also great fun. And I love the look and the idea that this game has, 
It looks very truly terrifying. The Outlast Trials is a first person psychological horror survival game and it's the third instalment in the Outlast series which are already awesome so I have high hopes for this one. This game is a prequel to the first two games and features test subjects in a Cold War experiment, probably gone wrong. Interestingly enough, this game is also a multiplayer as well as a single player. So the multiplayer option is up to the magic number of four, which seems to be the number in multiplayer horror games as of late. I love the first two Outlast games, and if this one proves to be as terrifying as they was, then I would advise you to keep a fresh pair of underwear by your side. Set in 1947, in a location near the Roswell UFO incident, you play as Detective Franklin Reinhardt, and you have been called in to basically find information and clues about a mysteriously missing family, the Peterson family. It's a first person psychological horror, where you uncover the horrific flashbacks of war, as well as battling your own identity and purpose. And like most horror games, you encounter terrifying beings not worthy of this earth. Roswell looks amazing graphically, and the atmosphere seems enough alone to make you want to shit your pants, so I am definitely looking forward to this one. Unholy is a mix of horror and stealth, and you take on the role of Sadai, who was looking for her adopted child in a place called The Last City. And of course, as you would expect, The Last City is a horrifying place to visit, terrifying enough to make you question why you would actually go there in the first place. But once again, Unholy has amazing graphics, which look truly breathtaking, and the game does give off a real creepy and terrifying vibe.